Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. All right, what's this mean for you this week? All right, Pisces, what's this mean for you this week? Well... You're going to be tempted, Pisces. You're going to be tempted with this devil right here. Remember, the devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Who doesn't want to see you grow? Well, the other side doesn't want to see you grow. Why don't they want to see you grow? Well, they would like to see you live and die repeating the same cycles over and over and over again so you accomplish absolutely nothing in this lifetime as far as soul growth goes. That's who doesn't want to see you grow. It's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. Five of Pentacles in reverse. What is it? Well, coming out of the cold, three of cups to have another go round with someone. Mm hmm That's toxic okay it's toxic coming out of the cold to have another go round with someone emotional withdrawal with the eight of cups to the knight of cups um this is not a situation that you need to accept what's the obstacles and challenges the six of cups well this person is from your past mm -hmm. whatever this is whatever this is career money family love whatever this is for you there's something coming out of your past that is um, making you an offer to get back together again and your flesh is thinking about doing it to a swords at a crossroads in your mind though why well, the Eight of Cups, again, walking away from something emotionally. Why? The Moon card. Because you know inside of yourself that it's no good for you, but you don't want to accept that as the truth. Mm -hmm. That's the Moon card. These cards are telling you that you need to step away from this mentality Pisces, you need to step away from the mentality of, well, I know it's no good for me, but boy, I sure do really want it. Partnerships and alliances with the Three of Wands. Have some foresight, Pisces. Have some foresight. The Four of Cups. Stop. Take a step back. Contemplate and reevaluate what you're doing. Why? Because there's something better. There's something better than this person, place, or thing that's coming back to you from the past this week. There's something better. There's a new beginning. There's a new journey. There's a better way for you, Pisces. The King of Wands. There's a better someone. There's a better person. There's a better job. There's a better dog. There's a better situation. There is something better, a better offer that is coming your way. To the Two of Pentacles. Prioritize what? the star. Prioritize your soul understanding of the way that you should go. How do you know what your soul is saying? The moon card. The struggle that you have between that which you know to be true, the situation is no good for you. Between that which you know to be true and that which you do not want to accept as the truth. What don't you want to accept as the truth? Well, you got another shot. You got another chance. Maybe it could be better this time. These cards are telling you it's not. Focus on your path and your purpose. Focus on your soul's destination to the hermit. Do some deep soul searching and introspection and answer this thing that you already know inside of you because it is your soul speaking to your consciousness trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. Stop fighting it. Accept it for the truth even though you don't want it to be the truth. Two of Wands and step into your future. Not your past, your future. Namaste, Pisces.